In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the love and mercy of God be with you. Let us pray, Almighty Eternal God, who through the regenerating power of baptism have been pleased to confer on us heavenly life, grant we pray that those you render capable of immortality by just find them may by your guidance attain the fullness of glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 15 verses 18 21. At that time Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you are of the world, the world would love its own, but because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But all this they will do to you on my account, because they do not know him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear good listener, a good Saturday of the fifth week to you. I have chosen the theme, God is love. The world is hatred. My dear good listener, as we read in 1 John chapter 4, verse 16, God is love. And in the past days, we have been reflecting on this theme of love. God as love. God as one who loves us. John chapter 3, verse 16, God so, was, God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him may not perish but be saved. Therefore, we are the products of love. God aims or seeks to bring us to this love. And Saint Faustina, Jesus revealed many times that he is love and mercy itself. These are the greatest attributes of God. My dear good listener, today the tone changes. Jesus brings another aspect. He brings another reality that we must come to terms with. That we must know and he says if the world hates you know that it has hated me before it hated you if you are of this world the world would love its own but because you are not of the world but i chose you out of the world therefore the world hates you so what do we see in the world the world is hatred so that's why it hates God does not hate because his love there is nothing else you can get from God apart from love but from the world, we get hatred. And so, my dear good listener, whereas we are in the world, we must know that we do not belong to the world. There are working for the world, working to please the world, working for the fame, for prosperity of the world. We are just losing it all. Because at the end of the day, the world will still hate you. Remember, as Jesus says, if they hated me, they will hate you. A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. My dear good listener, you know how much Jesus did for the world? John says in chapter 20, verse 30, there was much else that Jesus did. If it were written down in detail, I do not suppose the world itself would hold all the books that would be written. This we find in John chapter 21 verse 25. So my dear good listener, if Jesus performed many good actions and yet he was persecuted to the point of dying, he is certainly telling us that we should never expect the world to hear all we do as Christians. We belong to God and that's why whatever we do, we should focus on the good, never on the bad. And so even if the good you do is not appreciated, at least be consoled by the good you have done. That's what Jesus does. He did so many miracles to people, but the same people killed him. So if you are his disciple, you should know that your love stems from Christ. You are loved by Christ. The world will never love you. In John chapter 14 verse 30, we read, I shall not talk to you much longer. Because the prince of this world is on his way. He has no power over me. What does Jesus mean? To whom is he referring? He is definitely referring to the devil. 
the devil is the prince of the world. And he says, he has no power over me. So my dear good listener, we have to know it, that the world has a prince called the devil. Why? Because it uses what is worldly to lead away God's people. Therefore, know it, that we are working for God, not for the world. It is about God, not about the world. The world is hatred. Jesus is love. So what do you opt for? Love or hatred? Whom are you working for? God or the world? Remember? Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 says, No one can be the slave of two masters. He will either hate the first and love the second, or be attached to the first and despise the second. You cannot be the slave both of God and of money. Man is worldly. God is eternal. So we must choose, my friend, whom are we serving? As we come to the conclusion of our reflection, let us be inspired by the words of St. Faustina, found in our diary number 351 and 1183. I waste no time in dreaming. I take every moment singly as it comes, for this is within my power. The past does not belong to me. The future is not mine. With all my soul, I try to make use of the present moment. Oh Jesus, I want to live in the present moment, to live as if this were the last day of my life. I want to use every moment scrupulously for the greater glory of God, to use every circumstance for the benefit of my soul. I want to look upon everything from the point of view that nothing happens without the will of God. The Lord be with you. May the God of love and mercy bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wish you the best of the day. Can you remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this good news with your friends.